A dentist in Iowa fired his assistant for being too attractive, and the Supreme Court backed him. Teddy Loxon Jr. tells us about it in tonight's editorial. Ryan Foley reports in Huffington Post that male chauvinism was behind the Iowa Supreme Court ruling that it is legal to fire a female employee if you find her irresistible. A dentist fired his female assistant, even though she was a stellar performer for 10 years because he said he could barely keep his hands off her. To be sure, he never got to touch her, but he texted her a lot if he could. She would not give him any encouragement. Even the dentist's wife who worked in the clinic agreed. But the assistant's lack of encouragement just whetted his appetite. He took it that she was playing hard to get, which is a turn on. I don't know. From my experience, a woman playing hard to get is just telling you to get lost. But that's just me. On the other hand, a come hither look gets the desired result. The court ruled that a man who lacks self-control can legally fire the object of his desire and should be commended for violating her labor right to save his marriage from his lack of self-control. A motion for reconsideration argued that the Iowa court was encouraging discrimination against sexy, big-breasted women as opposed to flat-chested ones, and that's just one case. The Iowa court, however, stood by its decision. Now, if I was the lawyer of this guy's spouse, I would accept the Iowa court ruling, turn it against him, and clean him out in a divorce case, premised on his inability to stay faithful while other women are around. I cannot lose, and I would split this property between my client, the spouse, and the assistant that he found so fetching. I'm sure to get to first base with her when I hand her the check to half his fortune. Keep well.